Hello guys, welcome another episode of my channel and today I'd like to share the unboxing experience and of my recent thrifty shop. Um, I have got a couple of few really beautiful brooches I'd like to share with you and just some uh, bits and pieces like knickknacks and a couple of just uh, vintage dresses. So now let's get started. The very first thing I wanted to show you is I got these beautiful um, jewelry boxes. I'm not sure you ever seen it somewhere before. It's like have all those mirrored uh, style and it's quite a, a, a large size. And then inside, I'm not sure it's musical. It's not musical. And you have all those components, put all your favorite jewelry in. So um yeah and the other uh, stuff I had that big one of the big purchases that I purchased is um vintage I believe it's Fendi right uh not sure I think it's real skin uh this let me skin the leather I'm not sure if this is um imitation or not then there's a bit of like a, a Fendi logo and yeah I thought it was really beautiful as a vintage or I could even still use it today and it's actually have a, a very big component inside that you could actually utilize even today so so yeah that's another um, gorgeous bag I got today and then um, um, now I have got this very gorgeous little like uh, tin and it's actually I didn't pay a lot, I think a couple of dollars. Let's take out the tag. See, it's actually for uh, made by Royal Dalton. Not sure what that for. So I'm assuming that maybe for some of their, you know, the very famous on porcelains. So yeah, and um, actually I bought a porcelain doll today. So there's some nice goodies inside. And the very first one that I want to show is a doll that has small like a, uh, Looks like a flower girl. Um, it's a porcelain doll. I love porcelain dolls, so I'm really excited when I see this porcelain doll in the shelf. Here, see, and it's a very cute little thing. And and here it says clearly it's Royal Dalton. So yeah, that's one of the goodies I had. And the other one I have, uh, I think it's a little vase thing. I heard some noise, but it's not broken yet. Oh no, it's broken, I'll be very sad. Okay, good, it wasn't broken, it's just how it is. See this one too. Um, I'm gonna take out the tag. See this one. Let's have a lid, look at on, on. Right, it's also, um, I think it might be a cold pot produced um it's not a it's quite a small inside and now uh, all i have left uh i believe a jewelry actually um i might be go through a couple i just bought some really simple dresses today let me quickly show you too um this this is like it's pretty big i don't know i bought it because I really like the pattern, so I could maybe make it a bit smaller, just alter a little bit. And the next, another little skirt. This is very much a vintage type of pleated skirt. And then I have this, I need to uh, give it a clean. It's a beautiful, I feel like a silk scarf, right? Yeah, I just like the actual pattern, gorgeous pattern, and the color. So all I have to do is have to give a wash, and then uh, her last piece is just a short, uh, like a short uh, summer dress, like this, sort of a nineteen seventies, maybe seventy eighties, stylish black and white. It got a very um, unusual pattern. It's elephant right uh, some sort of soldier or fighting uh, 
Yeah, but it is cute style. Now, the rest I had uh, are jewelry, so let's go through some jewelry. Okay, okay. Um, I just can't resist to get. Uh, I have this um pretty beautiful gold toned. Uh, I think it's quite an old style jewelry, and uh, this is like a red ruby center stone in the middle. Am I getting a bit closer so you can see? So, and next piece that is my favorite of the day is this. How beautiful is that? This is actually a signed piece. Um, I think it was done by Simpson or Jewel Crust. I think they are by the same Australian jewelry making company. It's quite uh, famous in the old days. Very hard to to get one so I do did pay a little bit extra money for it but I think it's still worth it because I can give people as a present or just keep it to myself so yeah that is two gorgeous jewelry I had from a flowering shop the, the second shop I have some more trust me I had a few stuff I also got a whole heap of brooches here so here I have this silver, silver brooch. Um, not sure it's real silver. Might be silver toned. But I, I thought it's a very unusual pattern. Right. And next one I have. I hope it's not tangled. Oh, this. This is gorgeous. It's. Uh, I. They might be a reproduction, but, but definitely have this, uh, antique, style to it. Hang on, I think it's kind of tangled a bit, right? And anyway, basically the pendant is look like this. See, so it's sort of um very unusual, and they have a like, multiple strand of gold tone chain. And next one I got in here is oh that's just a cute little ring. Um, you you know just I thought it's very cute. And then next I have is this uh, a gold toned necklace. Necklace. I'm pretty sure that's just an imitation, but still it's sort of um, a vintage style. Then I have that that just um, like a, a rhinestone bracelet, sort of just you know you can put on your wrist. Looks pretty nice and shiny. And then. The, um, there's another gorgeous pendant some of them are, are well put in ebay store for sale so keep an eye on my ebay shop and here I, I, I like this really beautiful blue one I feel like uh, silver I'm not sure I can wear it now see it actually goes with my dress see so yeah and that's that's just one part of it then the second part is all my brooches and some earrings I bought are gorgeous as well. Okay, um, the first brooch I had is that. That's definitely is a vintage design style. I haven't even checked there is any missing store or not, but it had got the uh, enamel type of design with cup of rhinestone, right? And at the back, so everything is in good condition. And next one, oh wow, look at these earrings. I was so excited to see this pair of beautiful red earrings. Almost like a check type of design, right? It's a clip on. You, you can only get it for like a vintage shop. And next one is another beautiful uh, pendant, right? Uh, it looks like cameo, maybe? and also you can use as some kind of brooch in the middle you have uh, uh, a stone a silver toned um, topaz stone I think and the other one I had um, uh, uh, this cute little sort of flower shaped earrings and then two just um, uh, typical rhinestone vintage uh, brooches right beautiful and shining and then another starburst 
uh, brooches it's beautiful sparkly it's not very big but it is cute I can't resist have to buy it and then uh, next one is two like clip on uh, fur pearl earring right and I like its size sort of you can wear it you know multi-functional now I think the very last one I have is um, a set of the brooch and to go with um, the earrings they are matching matching which is usually quite un, un, quite unusual to find a match pair so when I saw it I can't resist so now I have to share with you what I have here now here is the brooch they got this gorgeous um, emeralds cut uh, rhinestone right it's definitely gold toned and on the back is like this like trombone type of um, uh, pin and here is the front and then um, the, the matching ear earrings look like this and the back just the um, yeah uh, how can I put it yeah just uh, definitely not for pierce earring so this is the whole set so this is definitely buy for the day um that's all I have for today to share with you definitely my my favorite piece is this beautiful necklace and then this uh, Donna Simpson or Joe Crass uh, brooches and I think I will keep it for many years um thank you for watching again and I hope you enjoy your experience to share with my boxing and hopefully um, subscribe to my channel so don't miss any other future updates. Bye.